Hi, I'm Paul Potratz. And I'm Brian Hart. And today we're going to talk about one of our innovative strategies we're implementing for our dealerships. Paul, what strategy are we talking about today? We're talking about a strategy that will increase, in this is a simple strategy, mm -hmm. it's one simple change, but it will increase income, annual income, from a quarter of a million dollars to shy of a million dollars. But it's not, it's, it's not a huge expense by any stretch of the imagination. Nope. We're talking about selling parts online. And I know you're, you're hesitating immediately thinking, oh, you got to build out your staff. You got to have all this infrastructure to handle this. But Paul, that's not the case. Exactly. I mean, Brian, you and I, we've talked to so many clients and prospective clients mm -hmm. in the past. I mean, especially the prospective clients. And they're like, oh, I can't do it. I don't have the process. I don't have the staff. I don't have the team. But we're talking about selling parts on a nationwide level. And I think it's crazy critically important that dealers understand, and this is one of the strategies, as you know, we're, we're, we always push on our dealers, it's important that we find other revenue streams. We find different profit centers, additional profit centers. I mean, think about it. The feds right now are talking about raising interest rates. So when they raise interest rates, people are going to panic. New car, used car sales are going to slow down for a little while. Mm -hmm. You've got to have those additional profit centers. Why don't you tell a little more about part strategy on a nationwide level what we're talking about? Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, a lot of websites will, will have a parts integration in there, and, and simply right now, it's a form saying, hey, this is the vehicle I have, and I, I need new brakes. Tell me about it. And you have to go through that whole process of back and forth and, and asking questions to the dealership or asking questions online to find the answers. Our process is going to make that much easier. It's true. And I mean, so I was talking to a parts manager this morning out of Canada, and she was pretty negative about it. She was saying, ah, oh, I don't want to get into the parts business. I spend most of my day returning parts. And I mean, yeah, rightfully so. I mean, if you've only got a form on your website and it says, oh, tell us what part you need, the vast majority of the population does not know what part they need. They're going to end up buying the wrong part. You go through the effort of shipping the wrong part, and then you got to do a return. And I mean, most dealerships aren't set up for that. So we're talking about doing the process right and doing it right the first time. Absolutely. What are some stats? I mean, let's share some stats with everybody about the parts, how parts business, how the parts industry is growing. I mean, realistically, the most important stat to our, our viewers watching this today is the average per dealership who imp implements this strategy uh, brings in $30,000 revenue each month. Yeah, I mean, and, we're, and again, I, I mean, we said this in the very beginning of the video, but I want to say this again. We're not talking about that you had have to add a lot of people to the staff. I mean, how many people do you need to do this part strategy? We're talking really about one. Yeah, exactly. One. So we're talking about having a website and uh, you know, something like dealer lead driver, and then you've got the parts integration on the website. Someone goes in, they, they're going through, they put, you know, the VIN number, they put everything in there, and they find the part that they, they need exactly. And then that, that lead is basically generated for the parts manager, it does the packing slip, it does everything for them. So all they're having to do is pick the part off the shelf, drop it in the box, slap the, the label on there and push it up front for UPS, FedEx, whatever, to pick it up and take it out the door. Exactly. Simple as that. There were some stats that I've been, because I'm always reading this, there's some stats though, and I think this is amazing if you think about it, that they're projecting that it's going to be $8.7 billion of parts within the next two years. That's over a billion dollars of growth every year. Exactly. And we're just talking about the United States. I mean, mm -hmm. that's not even talking about Canada. But I mean, this opens up an opportunity for a dealership, and this is what I tell the dealers. I mean, think about this. This is a great opportunity to sell nationwide. And I mean, I think you could share with everybody why that's so important, why you want to sell nationwide instead of just focusing all of your sales efforts on your own backyard. I mean, even just thinking, translating this back to sales, I mean, we spend so much money conquesting just outside of our market, 10 miles outside of our market. We'll spend a large amount of money in order to do that a lot more money than you're going to get back and a lot more money than it's going to cost you to do this strategy. Exactly. So and that's key. And you, you know, and I, yeah, we're in the business to sell cars, but when you're selling a car, you've got to have salespeople, you've got to have sales managers, you're paying commission, you, you've got all of these expenses mm -hmm. versus selling parts. Again, I talked to, it was a dealer this afternoon because one of our clients and we're getting them into the part strategy and they're a little nervous, a little hesitant about it. And they're going, ah, I don't know if that's the way we want to go because they automatically go to the, oh, we got to discount parts. And it's like, no, you don't have to discount parts. This is all about convenience. I mean, think about it. Like Amazon, you go to Amazon, a lot of times what you pay on Amazon is a little more than what you would pay in the store. Exactly. It's all convenience. That's what it comes down to. It's a, one of the biggest commodities of our era. Exactly. I mean, and, and people are willing to pay more for convenience. Yep. 
Well, think about it too. So here you are, you're in your own market. Let's say, for example, your market's connected in New York and you've got a major employer of General Electric. When they lay off, I mean, think about the chain effect of what happens. And you are dependent on your income, your sales in that market. As your market goes down, from General Electric laying off people, your sales are going to go down and this is a strategy to combat that because you're not focused just on Schenectady, New York. You're selling parts to Northern Canada, down to Florida, whatever it may be. Yeah, you're selling nationwide. Covers you. Yep. yep. And you've got the opportunity with selling parts. I mean, you can sell parts. You can have your parts on Amazon.com. You can have your parts on eBay. You can have your parts. Of course, you've got your parts on website. So you're creating all of these different opportunities to sell parts. Again, it, you mentioned it. Average dealer is doing about $30,000 a month in parts. and it's it's really it's not a lot of work for them and you don't have to be the biggest dealership in your area uh, this yeah. this works for 20 rooftop groups and it works for that single point store as well uh, that's, that's sell that's selling 40 cars a month exactly that's probably where the hesitancy comes from is that there's just not the full understanding on i guess how easy the process it, it really is one of the clients we had in past and bless his heart that's a southern saying by the way but bless <laughs> his heart that uh I said, Bruce, this is important that we get into the part strategy. When we first met and you know we, we created our partnership, we told you we were going to take you into the part strategy. And I don't know what it was, but he kept on hesitating. He's like, well, that's not going to that's not going to help us sell more cars, is it? And it's like, no, it's probably not because you're going to be selling to people all over the country. Mm -hmm. But what it is going to help you do is increase the numbers in your checking account. Exactly. And that's and, what it's all about. And that's going to have you have the ability to increase your pre-owned inventory. I mean a bigger revenue stream is going to trickle down to just about everything in the dealership. So there you go, guys. There's one of the strategies we're doing for our dealers. Give us a call if you want to talk about marketing strategies that we're doing for dealers. I mean, we're not, we're not doing this video to tell you, hey, call us. We're going to do your parts advertising. We're saying, hey, give us a call. We'll talk to you. Let's see if the partnership's right because we, can create, we create an entire strategy that covers everything. Paid search, website, parts marketing. I mean, new cars, used cars, certified, pre-owned, everything. It's an entire strategy that we do to make our dealerships extremely healthy. So here you go. Now Brian's going to give the sales pitch. If you want to learn more about our marketing strategies and what we can do to help increase your revenue, as we just talked about today, give us a call. We'll talk to you soon. Appreciate watching the video, and we'll see you in the next one.